This is from Andrew Borrell. One of the best things about Lee is that he is so open about what he has done. Ah. I know he has said that he got on some gear just before a show, usually, um, just before a show usually, but was there any time where he stayed on or after did it, did, uh, or did long cycles away from a prep just to put on some mass? No. Once a show was over, I get off, but there's a couple of times, like back in the early days, I'd do an off-season cycle, but I might just do six to eight weeks, that was it, and then I'd come off for maybe two months or so, and then I might just do another six-week one, and then that'd be it until contest time come around, so the majority of the time I'd do, like I said, the 12 to 16 weeks on for the shows that were back-to-back, -back, and then I'd just go off it for months, and then... Maybe I might just do one off-season cycle for six to eight weeks to put some more mass on and then go off it then just keep eating heaps of food and training hard and not worry about taking it again to the next contest come around. So, like I said, if you've got the mass there and you've done an off-season cycle, when you come off it, you shouldn't lose your gains. So once you come off it, just keep eating a lot of food, keep training hard as if you would, as if you're on the gear. So don't think, oh, now I'm off the gear, I'm going to lose all my size and strength and that sort of thing. Just keep training, you know. Don't get caught in that mental thing because you're not on it, you can't train hard, just keep training as hard as you can and eating food, like as if you would as if you were taking it. So. And what would have been your typical off-season cycle? Just DECA, would have been like DECA, two to three hundred milligrams a week and then just some sort of test, probably four hundred milligrams of that, or if I just did the DECA, it might have been DECA, three hundred milligrams a week and just some Dianabol, just just very basic stuff like that for six to eight weeks. And then on top of that, as I said, just eating a ton of food and training as hard as you can. Yeah. Just yeah. Like I said, the very basic stuff. Yeah, one one guy said, oh, yeah, oh, if he's not taking stuff, how does he keep his gains? Mm -hmm. And, um... um that's what I can never understand. It's like whenever I did take the stuff and didn't make gains, whenever I came off, I never lost anything. You know, because I ate a bit of junk food, I might have cut a bit back on the junk food and then I might have lost a little bit of, like I said, maybe a couple of pounds, just the fluid, but yeah. I, never, I never lost any size or strength. My best lifts, whenever I had my strongest lifts and that, it was always when I was off the gear, it wasn't when I was on it, so I said it's all in the mind half the time that, you know, you think you can go heavy when you're on the gear, but my heaviest lifts was when I wasn't on it. So, like I said, and when you do come off, like I said, if you're still training hard every day and you're still eating, you shouldn't lose any gains. If you keep going on gear and coming off and losing, you go back on, you blow up, and you come back off and you lose again, bodybuilding isn't for you. So if you can't hold on to muscle and stuff like that and train properly, well, it's not for you. But then again, you just get the guys who go on it. Like you said, for concerts and music festivals, they fucking diet down, take all the gear just to shred down for a concert and shit, then when it's over, they just come off, they don't train anymore, they don't do anything until the fucking next concert comes around. So just stupid yeah and look at um like you were saying before doing a magazine cover at 17 and you've been doing the bodybuilding thing for um for, for a long time and it's it's not a um it's a 24 7 365 day exactly yeah you know, so people that like i said we don't have an off season like you know, footballers or other sports where they do have a season and they do take time off where they actually they don't do any training at all. With bodybuilding, like I said, you take months off, you're going to go backwards pretty quick, you know. Muscle, yeah. muscle starts to atrophy, you can start to lose strength and stuff like that. So you can take time off for a little bit if you want, like a week or two here and there, but I never did. And so I just kept training or you're better off just if you don't want to take time off, just change your workout, go a bit lighter for a month or two, just do something different that way. But I still went to the gym every day, so like I said, bodybuilding, you don't really get an off-season at all, as simple yeah. as that. Hmm. Yeah, it's just years and years of slow exactly. progress and... Yeah, that can be your next t-shirt. There is no off-season. There is no off-season, there is no shortcuts. Exactly. It'd be like Boston shirt, it's all drugs. Yeah, or that's it, a good one would be easy come, easy go, if you <laughs> if, if you um... If you need to take the easy way, the the, the, the gains will go exactly. quickly. Poor Boston. Easy come, easy go. <laughs>